Hey everyone, it's Sammy Caps. I wanted to do this video because, heck, I haven't done a video in seven days and I've gotten a lot of DMs during those seven days on where the heck are you? What's going on? Are you okay? Kind of thing. So I want to touch on that a little bit and explain to you guys why I was not here for seven days, nor did I create content for seven days. And Regarding Diablo 4, I know the live stream was five days ago, five or six days ago, and that was during my absence. So I'm not going to get into the minutia of the live stream because I'm sure by now you already are informed. But what I would like to do is get into my feelings on us going into season four and what season four I believe is going to mean for us as a player base. So first things first, why was I away for approximately seven days? And this tan is a little bit of a giveaway. Obviously, um, I took a break and uh, I did, two things happened. Number one, I hit a wall uh, and it was a big wall. Uh, basically, I burned out and I was feeling it leading up to the day where I basically said, that's it. I can't do it anymore. Like I just, it, it was burnout and I didn't want to just create content for the sake of creating content. So you couple that with a couple of things in real life happened that were out of my control that led me to basically say, that's it. I, I, I have to, I have to take a break. Sometimes you have to take a step back to take two steps forward. Um, so I packed up the family. We took a little quick vacation um, as this little suntan shows. And I got to tell you, I'm first of all, I missed everyone. That's for sure. When you do content like I do and you're immersed in it all the time, uh, to step away is difficult, even though you're burning out. Uh, it was difficult. I missed that. And also, I don't just create content. I also live stream five to six days every week. Uh, so it was a lot for me, but I missed it, obviously. But I'm glad I took this little break and recharged the battery. I feel completely recharged. And so I just wanted to touch on that topic because I know a lot of people, some people were concerned that they thought something had happened to me. Um, good news or bad news, depending on how you feel about me. Uh, the good news is nothing's wrong, guys. I just, it, it happened so quick. I just hit that wall and I had to take a break and recharge the battery. That's what we did. So we're back in full force. Hopefully that uh, answers your question regarding where the heck I was. Now, regarding Diablo 4 and the live stream, there was a lot, a lot discussed in this live stream. A lot of good things in my opinion, but I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole and discuss everything that was discussed in the live stream. I do wanna mention a couple of things leading into us going into season four on May 14th. It's like a week away. Uh, I'm very excited. And for those of you that don't know, I have already stated that I will be playing uh, season four. So uh, I'll get that right off the top. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I have to say, this is probably the first time since Diablo 4 was launched that there hasn't been a major bomb or a deflating of the anticipation going into a season. This season four is the first season that we're going into with, I would say, the most positive I've seen from the player base and the Diablo community. Um, so I'm very happy about that. That is really good. So in prior seasons, we've always had some bomb drop before the new season would start just killing the vibe going into it. So I'm so happy that in season four, it's actually the opposite. There's nothing but good things coming out of all the communication from Blizzard. 
on season four. So that is great. The other thing of the loot reborn, obviously season four is about itemization and all the things that they have done, I see as all positives. First of all, even Bef even during the PTR, there's a lot of stuff that came out of the PTR, like this needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed. But even if things weren't fixed from the PTR feedback, we were already walking into season four while we were experiencing the PTR. It was a good thing. Uh, the fact that we now have a itemization roadmap is nothing but good for this game. Now, the fact that they've taken the PTR feedback and have further enhanced the itemization, I think is also a good thing. And I'll highlight a couple of things. Tempering, there's really not much that was done. And to be honest with you, it's already a good system. I think the major win out of the feedback was the fact that the fail rate when it for master working was just something first of all the the actual act of master working was tedious so they got the feedback and when it comes to master working there is well let's get the big ticket item out of the way there's no more fail rate with master working okay so it's a hundred percent guaranteed you're going to upgrade the item when you're master working an item so that is unbelievable i would have never guessed in a million years that they would have done that but it's 100 percent. there's no more fail rate fail rate on master working and the animation that you saw or experienced if you played in the ptr has been removed in the first three levels of first three ranks so there's no animation in rank one two and three when you're master working and the premise around that is a lot of the feedback that came out of the PTR was, oh my God, like this is taking forever to like rank up on the master working. So in order to speed that up, they've removed the animation one, two, and three ranks and four to 12, you can, there's a skip button. So you can skip the animation. Again, the premise being they want to speed up us ranking up and master working. So to me, that is like huge, the fact that they removed the failure rate on master working, that's amazing. I gotta be honest with you, there's really no negativity that comes out of the May 2nd uh, live stream from the Diablo 4 dev team. Like if you want me to rhyme off some of these things, so Helltide, and, and sorry, I'm going to refer to my notes here, but I'm going to do like a rapid fire here. Helltide rewards are improved. The Blood Maiden rewards improved. And if you, for those of you don't, that don't know, the Blood Maiden is the Helltide mini boss. Um, so her rewards are improved. They've increased the cinder drops. Uh, there is a new Helltide item called a Profane Mind Cage. And this boosts Helltide enemies 10 levels for an hour. Um, so when you consume this mine, profane mine cage, it will include, it will also increase the cinder drop rates and because it increases the enemy's level by 10. Uh, the pit was buffed. Uh, it's more difficult. Uh, they found players were burning, uh, blasting through it too easy. So it'll be harder in season four. Uh, the boss ladder is buffed. Um, and so they, they mentioned that it used to be five times the materials required for five times the loot. And in season four, it'll cost less uh, to get the same loot. So instead of five materials, five times the material required for five times the loot reward. It's going to be three times the material required for five times the loot. So they're dropping the amount of materials required, but not decreasing the loot. Um, so that's a good thing. Obol gambling is going to get better. So when you're level 100, guaranteed 925 items can drop and items can have greater affixes. World boss materials are going to drop in more places more frequently. Fortified damage 
uh, reduction increased from 10 to 15%. They did some character balancing. I'm not going to get into it, but the big one everyone was complaining about, it's the Barbarian, the Dust Devils. So now it will only summon three Dust Devils, not five. So we're not going to get that annoying screen full of uh, Dust Devils. Um, so that's good. Another big win is they're reducing the amount of armor we need. Um, and they're capping it at 9,230 armor. Before, it used to scale with enemy level, and so you just kept stacking armor, armor, armor. You know, people had 20, 30, 40, 50,000 armor. Um, now, once you hit 9,230 armor, you're done. You can concentrate on affixes that don't have, you know, you don't need to stack armor anymore once you hit 9,230. That opens up the opportunity for us to put affixes on our gear that is not armor. We can focus on other things. So again, this itemization just, just gets better and better and better. Paragon Glyphs XP buffed by 25%. As we all know, it's so annoying that Paragon Glyphs leveling up the paragon glyphs took forever so they bumped it up 25 percent. they reduced the imprinting cost from 75 veiled crystals to 16. veil crystals will now drop from legendary items also regarding salvaging materials this one i like as well uh, sacred items will break down into double the materials Ancestral items will break down to triple amount of the materials. So again, they're buffing. Uh, and of course, these materials we're going to need for tempering and masterworking, et cetera, et cetera. So all these things are um, just, I'm looking at my notes here, all good. Uh, so this is, when you when you sum this all up, I have to say, this is the first time, like I said earlier, that we're walking into a new season where I really don't have any negativity around it. It's all positive. They're buffing. We already know it's everyone's going to be level 100 now. Uh, even a casual player that doesn't have enormous amounts of time to play the game will reach level 100. It's much faster to reach level 100. So there's that that is going to be a huge, you're gonna see the player base appreciating that. Also, the fact that we now have a journey with our gear vis-a-vis -vis the itemization and the tempering and the master working. And then the fact that we can customize how we wanna play will translate into us being able to do all the content in Diablo 4. I got nothing negative to say. This is super positive. Now, the only thing that really is left to be told is what it's going to feel like. And we'll only know that when we, uh, we'll only know that on May 14th when we start uh, experiencing season four. Uh, sorry. Yeah, season four. Uh, so. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be very interesting. And I wanted to do this quick video on that. I know it's already been uh, almost a week since the live stream, but I have a huge Diablo 4 uh, community in my channel. So I thought I owed it to them to at least speak about it, about how I feel. I think going into season four is the most positive, like I said before, that we've had within any season hands down and that is a good thing so nothing but positivity going into season four i hope to see you there on may 14th anyway that'll do it for me i'm super happy to be back i missed all of you's and uh you can expect content coming from from me on a regular basis i'm back baby and i got a lot to say anyway if you could like, comment, and subscribe on the video, I would really appreciate it. It'll help grow my channel, and God knows I need it. I've been away a week. <laughs> um, and anyway, so uh, I would really appreciate it if you could do that. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. 
Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.